And video player, we have the, uh, the details. When I came in here, I didn't know about this at all. I didn't, I didn't even know it existed. But now, it's a whole different view. I mean, you can see code on the street, at your house, with family, friends. You can relate everything to coding. Now it's like that for me. <laughs> this is a coding academy called Ola Code. It could be any number of intensive programming training schools common in Silicon Valley. But it's actually in Mexico City, and these students aren't your typical coders. Almost all of them were deported to Mexico or left themselves fearing deportation after living most of their lives in the U.S. Ola Code is betting that the immigration policies that push these students out of the U.S. could actually land them good tech jobs in Mexico. I never thought of myself like maybe I was like undocumented or like did I actually ever belong there or anything like that. Miriam Alvarez didn't find out that she was undocumented until her parents told her at 14 that they were moving the family back to Mexico to avoid deportation. We had quite bad Spanish. Probably we just had Spanglish, not Spanish. <laughs> So like, we never thought of ourselves like actual Mexicans, I guess, in that kind of way. We always considered ourselves Mexican-Americans. But <laughs> once we found out, it's like, oh, we're not even that. <laughs> now she's one of 22 students hoping to graduate in April and find employment in Mexico's tech sector. If this can open new doors, like maybe like I can like learn how technology is evolving in another country or in another place, like help out other people that don't have the possibilities, I guess, to like go to college or finish college and like give them this opportunity in order for them to also learn. Ola Code is modeled after the successful Hack Reactor program in the U.S. There's no tuition fees, but students repay the cost once they have steady work. Students get paid about 250 bucks a month to cover basic expenses and study six days a week, 12 hours a day. For coding or software engineering is brilliant because they're already bilingual and given their experience that they worked in the US already, even in customer service, they already know how to cater and treat clients in the way people are used to. So they have like all of these natural advantages just because they were living there. US colleges alone can't keep up with the demand for programmers. And with the continued boom in global tech, the need is greater than ever. But the U.S. limits the number of special visas called H-1B that could allow immigrants to make up that shortfall, forcing some companies to hire abroad for talent. People are starting to look to other countries like, OK, where, where is near enough? Where can we find software engineers? And Mexico, because of its geographical position, I suppose it's becoming attractive in that way. And the restrictions could get worse. The White House has proposed a plan that would reduce legal immigration by a third. And the estimated 1.8 million so-called dreamers who were taken to the U.S. as children also face possible deportation, potentially meaning more students for places like Ola Code. For Ola Code, we're just like, how could they give us back these incredible kids? It's such a waste of talent for the U.S., to be completely honest. After 14 years being out of school, I never pictured myself studying again, which I like it. I see this great opportunity of having a career. And this is what I want to do. I want to code. <laughs>